All right, we're here in TV Land's Comic Con suite with the cast of Riverdale. Welcome, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. We're looking at like three iconic romantic pairings, and then and, and Ke then me and Kevin. And Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> but like, <laughs> I'll start with you because like I am Kevin? still I'm still like loving the little the Kevin, Kevin Moose, the Kevin Moose kiss yeah. from the finale. I thought that was really a yeah. really nice way to like you know some nice moments can come out of. Really bad moments. True. Yeah. Uh, thank you for saying that. I agree. I, um, we we are dating in episode three or season three. So mm -hmm. uh, it's fun to kind of start off with that and kind of explore that with uh, with Moose. It'll be fun. Yeah. I'm and the actor who plays Moose is the best dude. Oh He's yeah. Such a great guy. So I love working with him. At the very least, I feel like you deserve to kiss outside of like a bathroom or like the the river. <laughs> we, I had my first kissing scene of the season recently, and it was in the hallway. So, yay! We, nice. we had yeah, 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 kiss yeah, at school. Right down the open. I love yeah, that. Yeah, he pushes me off because he's still closeted, but it's still a kiss. Still okay. <laughs> and it's good. Okay. Well. A kiss is so, we're getting there. We're getting there. We'll take. We'll take. It's a complicated we relationship. Accept, we accept. It's a complicated relationship. We'll take a week. Yeah. I mean, Riverdale really excels in complicated relationships. They do. Yeah. They well. I don't think there's any non-complicated relationship. Of course not. Like Including this one right here, a little thing called Bughead. Bughead. Um, I love, I love the. <laughs> I mean, we're looking here at like the serpent, the serpent king and queen, the new, mm -hmm. the new ones. Um, how was filming that scene? I feel like that uh, once we, when Riverdale's over and we look back at like the years of Riverdale, I feel like that sort of like pseudo proposal is going to be like an iconic mm -hmm. moment for the two of them. I think it, depending on how season three plays out <laughs> and how her being a serpent queen works out, we're still figuring that out. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We've only shot an episode and we've only read two, so well, I don't know. <laughs> I think the fans like took it as like a, a sort of proposal. What do you think like the, the dream like bughead proposal? Like what would, how would like, how would Betty want to be proposed to? She's a romantic. Yeah, but I also think Jughead would do something really thoughtful for her. I don't know. I feel like he'd write. I he'd write her something. No, he'd write her something. I like this going. Because he's a writer. Throw it <laughs> onto um, her, right yeah. Yeah. onto her he's finger. Poetry, like the one right there. Yeah. Or maybe like just smoothie. an essay. Maybe an essay. <laughs> narrate it. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't know. Or something very romantic. Like I think moment. they're very romantic. Yeah. Yeah. Just take you fishing. Maybe. <laughs> I'm just eating a can of beans. <laughs> Either way, we're just... Why you getting married? over a can of beans. <laughs> we're just pushing teenagers to get married here. Yeah. No, no it. big deal. <laughs> beans. <laughs> <laughs> the ring was in the beans. <laughs> Baked. <laughs> Of course, Pinto. we are. We do have the OG Serpent King okay. and Queen up there. Uh, yes. How, Kevin. how do you guys feel about Over them? Over gorgeous is what OG stands for. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. How do you feel about them coming for your title? <laughs> no, it's original. Are you a dad by chance? <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> They're not coming for our title. They don't know how to step up. You're not a serpent. Yeah, you, so it, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> but she has. You have a serpent tattoo, which. And I have a serpent jacket in the closet. But, but it's faded. <laughs> oh, not oh, 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 oh. So oh, we we solicited in addition to my own questions, we did solicit fan questions, and multiple people want to know if we're ever gonna find out where Alice's serpent tattoo is. I think I know. Where is it? We've seen it. Probably be a lower back. It's like one of those hipster ones that's like right there. Yeah, it's lower back. I think it's thigh. It's oh, hard. Thigh. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It's hard to find because it's fate. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so going with your joke. He's totally on the edge of his The snake and has shed her skin. <laughs> in keeping with that, though, I understand like the couple names on this show. I didn't realize like Thallus was your couple name. Yeah. Because <laughs> that. It, where have you been? Stink. It's massive. Yeah, it's, it just sounds like something. It sounds like other things. Trending. Well, yeah. Trending, trending. And, trending. and it well, it sounds yeah, like other like things. Thallic. It's just spelled a little different. Uh, like phallic. They could have gone with app. AP. Yeah, yeah man. That, that, yeah. The, when you said it, it really resonated. <laughs> really, everyone just—I yeah. yeah. felt, yeah. felt, yeah. felt, felt, felt like I would jump on it. Like, what what is it. Kevin yeah. and Moose's? Moose. Yeah. Yeah. Coos. 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 Caboose. Coos. Coos. Mevin. Mevin. Did you say caboose? No, I like coos. I kind of like that. There's no B in anywhere, but I like caboose. Coos. Coos. We also have one of the newest couples right in front of us. The lovely Chowney. Middle. Not you too, Chowney. Excuse me. I have to say that's a relationship that like people. Loved. I think they loved watching, you know, certainly watching Cheryl discover her, her true self. Yeah. Um, I mean, how do you feel about that? Are we, what can we look forward to from, from Choni? We're like so excited about it. I mean, we were best friends before the show, so um, basically it's just, it's great. 
your love interest being your best friend because you have chemistry. It's pretty amazing. It's like you don't have to do any like, like real AP back chemistry. work, like leg work at all. You kind of already got it. It's easy, yeah. you know? And yeah, we're love we're hoping we have a lot more. I would love that. Yeah, I love Shoney scene. Cheryl's whole coming out and like kind of understanding why her mom treats her the way she treats her, I think was such an interesting and beautifully written scene. Mm -hmm. I think it really helped understand Cheryl a lot more. I think it really built a strong relationship foundation. Cheryl's kind of a loose cannon, which I love. Mm -hmm. But like, do you think Tony will like rein her in, or do you think she'll be like, nah, like fire away, crazy cannon? I don't think Tony knows about how loose of a cannon Cheryl is, and I think maybe she'll find out. Like from what Tony, chill. yeah, she's pretty chill. And I think from what she's seen so far, she's kind of been into it. You're like not scared. Nothing's of it yet. really phased her yet. Like, you saw that like I sketched Josie, and it didn't bother you. No, I was like, yeah, yeah you're like, okay, cool. Everybody has baggage. But I kind of feel like Tony <laughs> might on. like have a. Bring whip. it on. I feel like Tony probably <laughs> is. I feel like what? you might have a. Whip. Like, sometimes you're like, Cheryl, come back! Cheryl, get like, over here! Every once in a while she'll cross the line and you'll be like, BAM! And yeah, she's so right, I agree. No, I don't know Cheryl if we're talking about like teeny. literal whips or like metaphorical <laughs> whips. I was speaking <laughs> metaphorical, but I don't, you know, we're on we're on a net, we can't go there. Verbal, that verbal journey. whip. Oh, of course. I have another fan question here that I, I needed to read this one like word for word because, because it is what it is. Okay. So, from Ginger Heel would like to know. I can't believe no one's ever asked Lily if she hurt her head or back in the infamous Bughead Kitchen makeout scene where Jughead slams oh. Betty into a kitchen cabinet and I think it's time. Wow. <laughs> I know, I mean, speaking of like iconic. Finally, amen. At last, I've been the two years. questions. I mean, that is also another like iconic Bughead moment. I mean, I've seen the scene, obviously, and like it looks like it we're coming in a lot harder than we really were. I don't really remember. Really? I wasn't really hurt. hurt. <laughs> so it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. No, it was... Well. It was lovely. <laughs> I don't know. That's one of my favorite book teams. It was somewhere, somewhere in the middle. It looks, it's Hashtag more like hot. Yeah. yeah. But no, it didn't, it didn't hurt. Can fire we expect emoji. more <laughs> fire emoji bug head scenes? Yeah. That scene was fire emoji. Oh, I don't know. I, I, we started shooting second episode like yesterday. So uh, we don't and know anything head, that happens through it. Mystery before sexy time. I, I like my dead bodies first, <laughs> and that gets then me in the mood. <laughs> guys, 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 come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to a dark place, which is actually another question. Betty seems sort of like, obviously she's resistant to maybe this like brewing darkness inside of her. Hmm. How do you feel? I mean, as, as an actress, are you like, go dark, go well, dark? Well, it's like, there's not... It's not really brewing anymore, it's just there. <laughs> and I think mm -hmm. that was season two, the end of it, she kind of faced her darkness when she looked Hal in the eyes and was like, no more darkness. I don't have this bad part of you in me. I'm done. And so I think it, that was just kind of a moment of her accepting that everyone can be bad, and that's fine. And it's not like this looming thing that she needs to hide from people or this physical entity like this dark Betty. It's just her. It's just another layer of her. And she's kind of getting over it. I like that. Getting yeah. over it. Getting over it. Well, you're she not... faced her demons. She did. One of them. There's well, one of, them. of those demons being your, I guess, ex-husband. Yeah. Still. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> did you officially not get finalized, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess it's a process, you right? Married to How do you serve prison? somebody in prison, by the way? How do you what? Yeah. Serve. A guard Divorce. delivers it. Yeah, guard. Papers. Papers. Yeah, Divorce it's papers. easy. You don't have to track them down. Can you I'm so glad out? that our audience I've done this. Can you yeah. hang out if you're married and some, your husband's? Conjugal? No yeah, visiting you just, hours. You yeah. just hang. Yeah, you hang. <laughs> we had the other half of the, the Riverdale gang in earlier, and we yeah. had a whole discussion about conjugal visits. Luke Perry, he spoke firmly. Yeah. He, said, he said you have to be married to have conjugal visits. He, uh, he oh like, yeah. Oh, yeah. like... How long did they yeah. give you? Yeah. Any prison-related questions should be directed to Luke Mr. Perry. Perry. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> because he apparently knows everything about it. I wonder why. Good old but uh, I mean, does that clear the way for uh, phallus? <laughs> like, it does. Yeah. It does for sure. Yeah, that that was a big ob obstacle that needed to be cleared. That's um, one obstacle. That's one obstacle. There's He's got some and baggy and 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 jelly I want to see a hot steamy a parent lettuce. scene. That'd be dope. Don't you lettuce. love that? Like lettuce. a hot steamy lettuce. parent scene. I'm glad. Yeah. There has not been that yet. <laughs> Why not? Also, lettuce. Lettuce. also the hottest lettuce. parents lettuce. in the world. Lettuce and jelly bean. The town is crawling with hot parents. I think we need like a. I want to see them get like. I want to see them in the steamy shower doing their thing. Yeah, let them do it. Shower. We'll show you guys how it's done. 
Or like, I want to. Yeah, I want to see stuff. I want to see stuff. We all want to see stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to see stuff going down at the Speakeasy. I'm sure you didn't know where that was going. The Speakeasy. I'm excited for that. Yeah. Um, who's singing? Who's singing? I've heard a rumor that. I think Jughead is doing a lot of singing. I've heard a rumor that uh, a residency uh, you Josie and I might do a little a bit of a number. It's like a bluesy, Jughead. like... No, 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 it's all my mate. No, it would be spoken Larry word. Jr. Jughead should do like spoken word. Dress, Poetry like would just piano. snappy. Yeah. <laughs> like what haikus. Is? I just thought of the Goofy haikus. movie when the girl Oh, so good. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's Jughead. I feel like Jughead's that kid that like gets up to the mic and does horrible slam poetry for like five minutes straight. Ooh, um, bop. Ah, you should try stand up. Ooh, here comes a burger. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to get up there and just—he just does his—he just does his like I'm not a good guy just, routine. Yeah, like, exactly. You might not know me, but I'm kind of a weirdo over here. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Pops. Sit down, have a drink. <laughs> Done. And the applause are with snaps. Yeah. I like this. It's chill. I mean, Riverdale is that, like this like teenage girl is like you know what we should do open like a place for cocktails and cigarettes in the yeah. in the basement and everybody's like yeah, yeah of course, of course. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's going Mojito. to be smooth sailing. <laughs> Not on Riverdale. No. Is it ever? Dark times calls for dark measures, man. <laughs> it's dark. Even in the darkest <laughs> times, you just have to find them. We just turn on the light. Isn't that what Jim Bolter says? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's Perfect. A Pinterest quote. Yeah. I think that's a good to dark note to end on. The speakeasy's <laughs> gonna be really cool. Yeah. yeah. Really cool. cool. I know nothing about it. <laughs> well, we will soon. <laughs>